Okay, so just finished the 2010 European Championships. Um, the course ended up being almost 130 kilometres. There was a bit high of a bridge, or the, the river, it was supposed to be a river crossing, but uh, they were going to make a temporary bridge, but it was uh, the water was too high. So I think that's, apart from when I did the Wicklow Way, that's the longest mountain bike ride I've ever done. It's uh, 5 hours 42. Um, I don't know the position I'm in, but uh, I suffered all day. It was really, really tough. Like, I was almost going to felt like I'd blown about an hour and a half in and uh, I sort of knew there was still another four hours to go. So I, it was really, really tough, but so what happened is basically on the first big climb, it split into some groups and uh, on the descent, I was actually descending really, really well. Um, I was putting a lot of time into everybody around me, so I try and get to the front for a descent and then I'd bridge from group to group on the descent and eventually sort of a reasonable sized group formed and uh, we rode like that for about 40, 50 k and uh, on some more of the climbs it split up and we got smaller and then there was just myself and Rabobank guy, I think he was the Dutch champ, so it was myself and him riding together for a chunk of time and then we picked up some more guys, I think the Swedish champ maybe and a few other folks, uh, so there was about four or five riding, of us riding together for most of the last, i uh, say up until 30k to go. 30 k to go, uh, I was just keeping it steady up on a really steep climb and uh, I dropped everybody else and started. I, I catched, I already caught another four, five, six riders that had flown earlier and, um, and just sort of rode it to the finish. I had uh, one, as I was saying, I was descending really, really well. Um, I was actually really, really happy with that, but I did, uh, I was a little uh, over aggressive in one of the corners. Oh, jeez, nice blood. Um, only had one off, but uh, uh, I was just a bit swollen and stuff, but um, it wasn't too bad. I, I was able to just pick myself up and ride on, but uh, yeah, I was happy with how, how I was descending. The descents weren't really technical, they were just very, very, very fast. Um, it was hard packed and you were just riding a single track you haven't seen before at 40, 50k an hour, but it, it was really good fun. And the bike was absolutely amazing. The full sauce. Is just incredible. It was like, um, as I've always saying, it was like a hard tail when we were hard tail on the climbing and the flats and stuff like that. But it was just so much fun riding on the descents, and I was sort of boosting off every jump and things like that. But anyway, that's it. Uh, time to eat lots of food. I'd say it's about a five and a half, six, seven thousand calorie ride there. Uh, about seven or eight zip it, channel six full bottles of uh, juice, or seven full bottles of juice, and I really needed every second of it. Uh, I drank everything, and even got a few neutral bottles of water that I, I finished, and I still feel like I'm dehydrated pretzel. But uh, that's it anyway. Uh, the world champs are on here next year, so we'll see how that goes.